dearest valued client of ours, uh, this video is about the salivary hormone kit. And this is the one day hormone kit. So there's a different kit if you're doing a full cycle for females um, or the complete hormones. This one is for the one day salivary hormone kit. It's the tiniest one of all. It comes in a little plastic container and you're gonna have quite a few vials in here. There's gonna be different collection times. So I already did a video. This is a collection of where you're gonna spit into and it tells you exactly how much spit to put in here. The very first time I did my hormone panel, I couldn't get enough spit. So you're going to read the instructions. This gives you some tips on how to get enough spit. What I had to do is smell some vinegar and then I was able to work up enough spit. So you're going to get, like I already said in the video, you're going to have a requisition form. Make sure that you include that, all of the information. You're gonna put that back into the kit and ship that back to Genova. And then you're also going to have uh, an informational form where it's gonna ask you what kind of hormone therapy that you've been on and when, your main complaints, et cetera. And in each one of these kits, there's going to be little stickers and you're gonna indicate what your name and what time you collected the specimen. You're gonna wrap that right around each vial. So a few things that I can't forget for the, the one day hormone check, and I've got my notes here, is that for women, ideally you guys are collecting this uh, if you're regularly cycling, which means that you have a, a regular hormonal cycle, or if you're pre-menopause, you're gonna wanna collect it between 19 and 23. The, 19th and 23rd day of your cycle. So if you have no idea where you are in your cycle, just get a general idea. Hopefully you have an idea because most people who are working with us, they already have an idea of where their cycle is. So day 19 and 23. And um, obviously you're not gonna collect it when you're menstruating. And freeze your tubes. Once you're done with each one of these, you're gonna wanna make sure that each one of these tubes is put into the freezer. It's gonna be frozen at least for two hours before you ship it out uh, to FedEx. So make sure they're frozen. The day that you're collecting, you're going to want to avoid caffeine because it's gonna cause a cortisol spike. So no caffeine that day, I know, I know, no caffeine. And do it, make sure you're doing it on a normal day. So if you can do it on a work day, because we wanna have an idea for your circadian rhythms throughout the day where your cortisol is, Monday's fine, Tuesday's fine, just make sure that it's an average day for you. And there is one collection time in there between 2.30 and 3.38 a.m. And you're going to have to wake yourself up at that time. So set an alarm. You're gonna set an alarm for each one of these things throughout the day to make sure that you're taking them at the appropriate time frame. And you're gonna to want to avoid uh, everything but water between that uh, time frame within an hour before. So no brushing your teeth, no eating food, no coffee, and things like that anyway. Um, and then also I recommend that when you're doing this one day hormone check, you avoid exercise that day because that could also um, cause an artificial like DHEA spike. So those are the things you wanna make sure. Avoid caffeine, do it on a normal work day, uh, and avoid exercise if you're female day 19 to 23 of your cycle. And then you're also going to get, inside of each one of these kits, this kit, you're going to get the collection um, instructions. So if you have any question again as to if you're taking medications and if you should be on or off them, call the 1-800 number on the requisition form. Uh, I already talked about that, I already talked about that, I already talked about that. And I think that's pretty much about it. But the other thing I wanna make sure is to um, wake up between six o'clock a.m. and eight o'clock a.m. the day that you're collecting these things so you can get your first collection um, one hour with, within rising because you wanna make sure you get it within that one hour. Um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory, so hopefully you guys are good with that. If you have any questions, call the 1-800 number listed on the requisition form and talk to Genova people. They're available all the time. Thanks.